Our Father. This word is crucial. When when a word is God's word, and then it is accompanied with the power of God's spirit, it is revolutionary and changes the world. This word father is that kind of word. That ultimately in the Old Testament, we, we dealt with this in one of the earlier sermons in this series, about 15 times in the Old Testament, the Bible is two parts, Old Testament, New Testament, Old Testament before Jesus came, New Testament, Jesus came and then the church follows in his wake. In the Old Testament, about 15 times, God is referred to as Father. It's always national, not personal, and individual. So God is the Father of the nation of Israel. He's not my Father. All of that changes with the Son of God, Jesus Christ, coming from heaven, setting foot on earth. 165 times, Jesus refers to God as Father. He changes human history. There's no indication that any Jewish leader ever referred to God as father personally and publicly prior to Jesus. This was unique in world history. And he often speaks of father in the context of prayer. The word means literally father or dad. Some of your Bibles will translate this word Abba. It doesn't mean daddy. How many of you have heard God pray to as daddy God? Okay, I heard that once, I threw up in my mouth. Please don't do that. (laughs) Daddy God is something that is a grown man. I don't call my father daddy. I don't, I'm a grown man. I wear boots, I have a mortgage, my bangs are thin. Uh, You know, I don't believe in socialism. I'm a grown man, okay? I'm a grown man. As a grown man, I don't refer to my dad as daddy. If I did, my daddy would drug test me, okay? I call my dad, dad, pops, or father. All basically meaning the same thing, respectful. This word for father is what you would call your dad, whether you were a little kid or a grown adult, father. Jesus tells us to pray to God as father. Um, Let me say, something to the dads. How many of you are dads? How many of you are dads? The two relationships that God often uses to utterly transform a man is his relationship with the Holy Spirit and the relationship with his daughter. My daughters, I'm telling you, I would be a different human being if I didn't have my girls. And I didn't really understand the fatherhood of God. And I love my boys, hear me in this. I don't play favorites. But something about my girls growing up, they would call me dad, daddy, father, okay? And it dawned on me, God has shared his title with me. Man, I want you to receive that. If I'm mean, is she gonna think that he's mean? If I don't care, is she gonna think that he doesn't care? Uh, If I find her to be a burden and not a blessing, will she assume that he finds her to be a burden, not a blessing? Because God shared his sacred title with me as a young father. It was really impressed in my soul. I need to live up by the grace of God as best as I am able to this sacred title that the father has shared with me that when my kids, but especially my girls hear father, it brings a smile and not a terror. That they think of the safest place, not the scariest place. That they think of the most loving person, uh, not the most dangerous person. Our father. Furthermore, there is a, there's a theological group It's called Reformed Theology. I'm not gonna get into all of it. And I am Reformed-ish. But they tend to emphasize the sovereignty of God. So what happens in every theological system, one of the errors they make, they pick one of God's attributes and they elevate it above the other. So what the progressives or the liberals do, God is love, therefore nobody's going to hell and you could sleep with whoever you want. No, God's also holy, God's also just, God's also a lawgiver. Okay? And if Jesus died, then we've done some things that are that bad. 
okay? And what will happen in Reformed theology, they'll say that God is sovereign. And then the question that some have is this, why pray if God is sovereign? We pray because he's our sovereign father. I love the term father because a father is a sovereign, but he's a loving, gracious, empathetic, present, generous, helpful, sovereign father. See, my kids ask me for stuff because I'm the father and I'm the sovereign in our household. And they know that I will do anything I can to bless them. I adore my kids. I love them. I want good for them. I would give anything to them. I would do anything for them. And my heavenly father is perfect and he lacks nothing. And if he's perfect and he lacks nothing, that's the person I'm going to bring my request to. Amen? It's like, if your dad is all powerful, all knowing, all loving, always present and there to help, why would you ask him for anything? That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. It's like, that's exactly why I'm gonna ask him. He actually cares and he actually helps. He's not just sovereign, he's a father. Some of you, you've got these attributes of God, but you don't have a personal relationship with God. For some of you, God is a concept, not a father. He's a theological system, not a father. He's a father. He's a really perfect father. And my hope and prayer and goal for you men is that we would have the father's heart and that when children, especially our children and grandchildren experience us, they experience the father heart of God through us. That's my hope. Because you know what this world needs? More fathers. Jesus starts his prayer, our father. Nothing gets straightened out until you start with the father. And once you understand God as father, and then you get the fathers to have the father's heart, then you start to work out, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The problem in our world is this, we need more good dads. Physically and spiritually, we need more good dads. We have a problem that politics won't fix, that elections won't fix, that more debt won't fix, that more riots won't fix, that more protests won't fix. And that is that people are broken and only the father can heal them. And people need to be parented and only fathers can raise them. Our father, that's where it starts. As simple as it sounds, it's revolutionary.